This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollamore. Conservatives, Republicans have a very bad habit, we'll, we'll be nice about it and call it a habit, of elevating people of little worth, of dubious character, uh, to herodom. Let's talk about Kyle Rittenhouse, for example. Uh, in the hours following the verdict last week, I tweeted this. Um, indicating that not only the trial, maybe I, 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 I spoke uh, too specifically, but this entire Kyle Rittenhouse event and the verdict and what he did has been a moment for Republicans and conservatives to, to transform Kyle Rittenhouse into some kind of a hero figure. Even going this far, as to offer him jobs on Capitol Hill in the wake of his not guilty verdict as some kind of a reward for what he did. Madison Cawthorn, play a little video here, short six or seven seconds of him um, telling Americans to be armed and dangerous after the verdict. Kyle Rittenhouse is not guilty, my friends. You have a right to defend yourselves. Be armed, be dangerous, and be moral. Yeah. The same Madison Cawthorn who told mothers that if you have sons, raise them to be monsters. And then the bidding war has started relative to offering uh, the young dullard Rittenhouse a job on Capitol Hill, a job which ostensibly takes a little bit upstairs to be able to navigate policy and understand the goings-on in the United States government. Let's start with Matt Gates talking about Kyle Rittenhouse and offering him an internship or ostensibly floating it out there, more for shock, I think, than anything, but watch this. Thank you for your advocacy for Kyle Rittenhouse. He is not guilty. He deserves a not guilty verdict. And I sure hope he gets it because you know what? Kyle Rittenhouse would probably make a pretty good congressional intern. We may reach out to him and uh, see if he'd be interested in helping the country uh, in in additional ways. So as a reward, they're looking to get uh, Kyle Rittenhouse up on Capitol Hill. Madison Cawthorn has offered him a job. And then this took place yesterday on Newsmax. Because there's now, uh, like I said, a bidding war between the dum-dums on Capitol Hill. You got Madison Cawthorn, who's also offered a job. You got Matt Gaetz. And then you've got Lauren Boebert. It's like the trifecta of dipshittery. Watch Lauren Boebert not only offer and and get into the bidding war that's taking place, but just the, the, the depths to which they will sink the insensitivity that they will show, not just to liberals, not just to Democrats, but also to themselves. Watch Lauren Boebert say that Madison Cawthorn wants to arm wrestle to see who gets to have him as an intern. I can't do that. He's got two big a guns on him. He doesn't. He's got little sausage arms. Uh, but I want to I wanna challenge Madison Cawthorn who is in a wheelchair because of an accident, paralyzed, I want to challenge him to a foot race, to a sprint. Watch this disgusting moment. And I am so thrilled at uh, the jury's verdict here. Now, I do have some colleagues on the Hill who have, um, just like me, offered Kyle Rittenhouse an internship in their office. And, uh, you know, Madison Cawthorn, he said that he would arm wrestle me uh, for this uh, Kyle Rittenhouse internship. But Madison Cawthorn has some pretty big guns. And so I would like to challenge him to a sprint instead. Let's make this fair. <laughs> uh, how, how about I offer? How about I offer this? Allow me to arm wrestle him on your behalf. I love a good arm wrestle, and I would be happy. Madison's a buddy. I'd be happy to to arm wrestle him on on your behalf. What? Lauren Bobert wants to challenge Madison Cawthorn to a sprint, to a foot race, and then she adds. To make it fair. So, 
if if he had no arms, she wouldn't challenge him to the foot race. She would challenge him to an arm wrestling match to make it fair. Look, this is not a defense of Madison Cawthorn. I think he is reprehensible. But it really illustrates the, the depths to which they will sink. This isn't about being politically correct. This is about being decent and empathetic. I mean, she purports to be a Christian. Is this Christ-like behavior? Is any of this anything they do? Relatively inconsequential story, but it really shines a light on other elements, disparate elements of their depravity. Anyway, I would love to know what you think about this. Um, it's <laughs> astonishing to me. You can call, leave me a brief voicemail, 714-576-4054. Of course, you can email me daily at dollamore.com. I'd love to hear from you. Follow me on social media. I'd love to hear from you there too. I'm at dollamore just about everywhere. Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. I'm on the social media. Just like most of you, I think. Most. Maybe that's a stretch. <laughs> anyway. Uh, if I bring you value, whether that be a smile or some information, I would appreciate it if you would consider supporting my work here on the platform for as little as $1.99 a month. You can click the join button below this video, become a channel member, help produce my work, or you can go over to patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast. That's another fantastic way that doesn't just support the podcast, although it does. It also supports my work right here on YouTube. I love you guys. I appreciate you. Thank you for being who you are. Thanks for engaging with my content. Thanks for caring about the health and well-being of our republic. I'll see you next time. And until I do, be genuine. Take care of one another.